Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Jose Zuniga and for today, well, we're gonna be doing the purge on your closet because it, it, it's getting out of hand. A lot of this stuff, you're just hoarding it. It's not doing you any favors, it's out of style and let's be honest, who doesn't love upgrading their wardrobe with new stuff that just makes you look sexy? So today, I'm gonna give you the top 10 items that you need to trash that are in your wardrobe that are just out of style. Just get rid of them. That sounds interesting. Let's hop into it. Number one, I call them the wrapper frame. During the early 2000s, there was this massive trend where you would buy frames that covered half of your face. Yeah, if you still own those, you can put those in the trash. Not only is the trend for frames getting smaller and smaller, very much like the 90s, but personally, I would even avoid that one as well and just stick to your classics like your aviators, your club masters, your wafers. These are timeless ones that you're gonna have for decades and not have to worry about trashing. I cringe so hard when I see these in public. Your sketch Skechers dress shoe slash sneaker hybrid. Someone needs to go out and soak sketches for like defamation of character and increasing ugliness in guys because there is no one on this god green earth that can make these look good. Number three, worn out belt. I swear, if I see another man with this, I am just going to, I'm going to grab them by the hip. I'm going to remove that belt and I'm gonna replace it with one from Anson Belt. Because I promise you, when one of these belts graces your waist, it's gonna be one of the biggest blessings that's ever happened in your life. Our sponsor, Anson Belts, is the way to go. And that's because worn out belts just make any outfit look tacky. It looks like you spend so much money and thought into your outfit, but just that one piece of belt makes it look like you skimped out on such an important detail. Just think about it. The belt, it's the centerpiece of your outfit. So if that, when you tuck your shirt, is all crusty, it's wrinkly, the leather is peeling, what type of image are you sending to that other person? It's gonna look like you're going through tough times even though you probably are not, you were just careless. And that's why I recommend our sponsor Anson Belts because with Anson Belts, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Because Anson Belts revolutionized such a classic item, the belt. Most people thought you couldn't make it any better, but Anson did, they made it holeless. Basically, it doesn't have any holes. So what this does, you prevent all those creases that I was just talking about and the breakage of leather. Yes, and still, Anson Bell still offers amazing high quality leather belts that look beautiful, but the fact that it doesn't have holes and instead uses a track system that's micro adjustable prevents the need of breaking and folding that occurs with regular traditional belts. So those traditional belts, yeah, consider them out of style. Just get rid of them. Get yourself an Anson belt. Because with Anson belts, in my opinion, they're more stylish because it gives you more options. With regular belts, as you know, you have to kind of match them with your shoes and make sure they flow with your outfit, which means you can end up owning up to five, six different belts. With Anson belts, you really only need two straps and then you can just get multiple buckles and now you still have those five, six different combinations, but taking up a lot less space and a lot more affordable. So if you guys wanna check out Anson Belt or maybe gift it to somebody because it would make a great gift, there's gonna be a link down below where you can get a special deal where they give you three belts and two buckles or two belts and three buckles, which in total give you six different combinations for belts, making it an amazing gift or something to pick up for yourself. If you guys wanna check that out, it's gonna be linked down below. Number four, shirts with obnoxious logos. Yes, the federal boob inspector shirt is no longer funny and it's kind of offensive and most girls will be turned off by them. Now, I'm not saying graphic tees you should throw away all in itself. They're actually kind of trending right now and if that's something you like, then definitely pick one up. Something simple like an Adidas works great for casual outfits without it being offensive. Number five, boxers and whitey tidy. Boxers because, well, let's be honest, nobody looks sexy in boxers and your balls are gonna be bouncing around all day that's uncomfortable. And whitey tidies, you look like you're in middle school. If you got either, throw them away. They're out of style. Instead, replace them for boxer briefs. Ones like these that actually fit well. They give you comfort. And when you get them in nice colors like your navy, your black, or your gray, you look ultra sexy in them. Number six, your five-year-old Asics running shoes. Yeah, those old running shoes, they're disgusting. They smell and they look like crap. Shoes that you use to, to train and work out are just as important. Not only because newer shoes are better for performance, especially if that's what you're doing running, they, it might be better on your joints and your back if you upgrade to a newer shoe, but also the silhouette will be more stylish, which overall, like I said, it's always important to look good even at the gym because you never know when you're gonna run into the level of your life. Number seven, any tacky cheap fragrance. If you ever bought a fragrance and it only cost you 10 bucks, 
Chances are it's tacky cheap and it probably doesn't smell good. Now that's just an overgeneralization, but from my experience, that's what I've noticed, which means your Axe fragrances or any other body spray tends to not smell the best. So if you own any of those, get rid of them and preferably upgrade to higher end ones from popular fragrance houses like your Chanel's, your Gucci, your Tom Ford, your Creed, whatever floats your boat, make sure you invest a little bit more in your fragrance. It's gonna pay tenfold. Number eight, your super skinny tie. Back in in 2008 when suits were super trending or starting to get trending and ties were getting skinnier and skinnier it got to the point that ties started to look almost like straight now for a guy with broad shoulders it all it looks almost ridiculous so depending on your frame you should choose a tie that suits it best but in general any tie under about an inch and a half is just way too skinny no matter how skinny you are it looks ridiculous number nine male capris i mean do you want me to explain why or do you just want to get rid of them and move on Let's just move on. And finally, number 10, the last thing you need to trash that's out of style, it's your haircut. Your haircut is a very crucial part of your style and it's one of the first things people see. So many guys still have vintage cut, like your mule, your rat tail, your mullet, your, your flat top. All these look outdated. You need to get some texture, some life, some volume into your hair because it's gonna just reflect on your personality and overall image. If you want more hairstyle ideas, I did a whole video with 10 different hairstyle ideas for guys. If you want some inspiration, I would check that out. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are 10 things that are just completely out of style that you should trash. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Ants and Belts. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.